The size fabric that I'm going to be making is going to be 26 centimeters by 13 by 6. But before we start mixing any cement, we need to build a form. So the end pieces of my form are going to be 13 by 6 centimeters, just like the size of the brick. However, the side piece is going to be 26 centimeters plus a little extra so that these end pieces can be attached onto the sides, leaving an inner cavity of 26 by 13 by 6, just like the size of the brick that we want. Okay, so now that we have the form clamped in the position that we want it, we want to drill pilot holes here and here so that it can be fixed together, just like this. You may be wondering why I made my form such a strange size, and the reason is because I have this crucible. With a 24 by 12 by 6 brick, this wouldn't have fit properly with the foundry design that I have planned. Now that we have this form finished, we can start mixing the cement. My mixture is going to be made up of perlite and vermiculite, which are going to be the insulating parts of the brick, and cement and sand, which are just going to hold everything together. The ratio at which I'm going to be adding everything together uh, is 7 parts perlite, 7 parts vermiculite, 2 parts cement and 4 parts sand. Since I have about 10 litres worth of both perlite and vermiculite, I'm going to have roughly 3 litres worth of cement and 6 litres worth of sand. Okay, so here's everything in a wheelbarrow which we're going to mix together and add some water until we get the consistency that we want. So here's the cement mixture and as you can see, if you grab it and squeeze it, it forms a clump, which is what we want. Make sure everything is nice and compact and scrape off the excess. Then knock the edges to loosen the brick from the sides. Then you should be able to just lift it off. So we got eight bricks. Now we just need to leave them and let them set. So here's the finished product. As you can see it's very rough, especially in the corners. You will have seen earlier on in the video that I had some trouble taking these out of the form without breaking them. Also, I broke two of my bricks while trying to pick them up prematurely before they had fully set. So if you're going to do this yourself, make sure you keep them moist and leave them for a few days before you start trying to move them. So here are the bricks in use. This is my second time using them and they've held up quite well. You may be able to see that they've changed colour. They also weigh a lot less. This because the water has evaporated off of the bricks. If you're not convinced that these bricks work, inside the foundry we have molten copper, so it's over 1,100 degrees Celsius. And if I put this brick on top, take my glove off, I can easily put my hand on top. If I were to make these bricks again, one thing I would do would be to either change the way I use the form or to change its design. So either I would unscrew the form every time there was a brick inside it so that the sides just fell off, or I would add some sort of hinge contraption so that the form would open up, leaving an uninjured brick on the inside. So that's the end of this video. I hope it was informative. Thank you for watching and goodbye.